Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Accounting Superstar channel. I'm Professor Don Bush. I've been a professor for about 30 years and a CPA for about that long, and I've got great ways to explain accounting. So welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. So today's lesson is about installment notes. Hey, but before I get to that, it is an absolutely beautiful day today. It's about 60 degrees out. I live up in the mountains at about 8,500 feet in Conifer, Colorado, about 20 minutes from Red Rocks Amphitheater. If you know where that is, it's a beautiful place. So um, beautiful day, folks, blue skies. So today's lesson about installment notes, it's um, the lesson is for people who are in their very first accounting class, probably towards the end of, end of the accounting class. And we're going to learn how to do an amortization table. It's really easy. So here we go. Let's get to the details. So Fred borrowed $10,000 and he's going to use the money to remodel his snowblower shop. And he borrowed the money right at the beginning of the year, January 1st, 2001. The interest rate is 5% and that's on an annual basis. And the term is four years. Now, just to keep things simple, Fred is going to make one payment a year. So he's going to make a total of four payments. And the reason why I set it up this way is just to keep things really, really easy. Normally people would make monthly payments, but even if it's monthly payments, it's not that hard, but I didn't want to get caught up in the details. So here we go. So let's uh, do an amortization table. So folks, this is an amortization table. They, sometimes they look a little different, but they all do the exact same thing. It's all the exact same idea. So here's how it works, is that you put down the first year and you put down the beginning note amount. This is the principal, the beginning principal, $10,000. That's how much was borrowed. Now the annual payment, I had Excel figure out the annual payment for me. And the interest expense is 5%. Well, 5% of what? 5% of the principal. So the interest will be $500. And so when Fred makes his payment, $500 of the payment is going to go to interest and the rest will go to paying down the note. So $2,320. So how did we get $2,320? Well, $2,820 minus 500 equals 2,320. So the ending note amount will simply be the beginning note amount minus the decrease in principal. And there we go, 7,680. Well, the process simply starts all over again. So here we are, year number two. And the um, beginning note amount in this case is going to be 7,680. Well, where'd that come from? Well, that is the ending amount for the first year. So the ending amount for the first year gets carried over to the second year. The annual payment will be the same. And the interest rate is still a 5%, 5% per year. So we go 5% times 7,680, the, the new principal. And let's see what the principal, what the interest is. So in the second year, the interest is $384. And you notice that the amount of interest is dropping because the amount of principal is dropping too. So what's the decrease in the note amount? Well, all you do is take the payment minus away what is being um, charged for interest and you get 2,436. Now check this out. Even though the uh, interest is dropping, the uh, decrease in the note amount is going up, which is pretty nice. So the ending note amount is simply the beginning note amount minus the decrease, which will bring us to 5,244. Well, same thing. Let's go to year three. The ending note amount, 5,244, becomes the beginning note amount. And the annual payment, still identical. Interest is 5%, 5% 5 of 5,244 dollars which you get 262. So if you notice, the interest expense is dropping and that's because the principal is dropping. Now the amount that's going to be um, used for uh, lowering the note uh, principal is going to increase. So um, 2,000, I'm sorry, 2,820 minus 262 is the decrease in the note amount. And the ending note amount is simply it's 5,244 minus the decrease, and we get 
2,686. Year four. Now, if we do this right, the end of year four should be zero. There should be nothing there, zero, if we do this right. So the ending note amount will be the beginning, 2,686. The annual payment does not change. The amount of interest expense is 5% times 2,686. There we go. And the amount of the decrease here is 2,820 minus 134. And we get 2,686. Now check this out. The beginning note amount is 2,686. And uh, the decrease in the note amount is 2,686. So guess what? The ending amount of the note is zero. So coming on down here, folks, let's do some journal entries. Let me get the uh, computer all set up here. Once you have the amortization table done, it's all downhill. It's easy now because we've got all the answers. So first thing is we need to record borrowing the money. And Fred borrowed $10,000. So to record borrowing the money, he's going to debit cash and credit notes payable. You see, because cash is coming in, you debit cash when cash comes in. And it's for $10,000. There we go. So we took care of that. Now let's record the very first payment. It's easy, we've got all the answers that we need. In fact, we're gonna take them right from there. All right, there's our answers. So the first thing is, is what's the decrease in the note payable? Well, the amount of the decrease in note payable is 2,320, 2,320. And we can read it right off the chart here if I get this there, decrease in, in note amount. And second of all, we're going to have interest expense. So interest expense will be $500. There we go. And guess what? 2,320 plus 500 is 2,820, or the amount of cash, the amount of the annual payment. So look at that. It all fits together. All we did was take the numbers off the uh, amortization table. It's really easy. Let's do the... Um, Journal entry for the second year. In fact, I already have it done. There you go, folks, the journal entry for the second year. And what we would do is we would simply take it right off the table. It is so easy. Right there. So the note payable, the decrease in the note payable would be 2,436. There we go. The interest expense is 384, which comes right off the table. And the amount of cash is the cash payment, 2,820. And if you check it out, it, it all balances. So once you've got the amortization table, really, really easy. Well, I hope this lesson helped you guys out. And if it did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And I'm making lots and lots more of these videos. And if you're going into um, your second semester of accounting, I'm gonna make a whole lot of videos for that too. So subscribe to the channel. So until next time, folks, over and out.